Ezra's Hashem is Barak. Yoim Vivi Barshis Bahar. Shnas Tovshin Ayyavov. Yeshiva Teferis Avikim. Today is Erev. Lag Boiner. Now, Lag Boiner in the Yeshivisha Welt, the Messiah from Europe, was that Lag Boiner was what it stated in Shofanar. Um, talks about that like Boimer was the day at the Talmudim of Rabbi Akiva were not makes That day they didn't die. It says <coughs> now the minute is Noyagin Shaloyla his stop there at the Lak Boimer. Don't take care because it's still Lak Boimer. Ba'ad, ba'ad ikhlaq. You should know for the record, that means until it's Lamed Gimel Yomim Shleim. Tomorrow, Why? Sha'imrin. Because they say, Sha'oz Pasku Milamos, then the Talmidim of Rabbi Akiva stopped dying. Buddhism. Trying to, which is what he says, only the Dino, he said, Elu, we not know you, Kidvar. See, the Shulchan Aruch, it says, you can't take haircuts till Lamidalit. Ad yoyim Lamidalit. Umedinus elus akterama einoyegin kitvarv. Now the weird mistaper on yoyim Lamid gim. And he is umar bimboi ktsas simch. We marbe ktsas simch. We ain't oimrim boy tachnim. We don't say tachnim on that day. We come the erev shalom and base. We don't say tachnim. Say mishum. No haircuts till Lamed Gimel itself, the day, not the Be'erev. That's what it says. So, in the Shulchan Aruch and in the Rishonim, that's what we found about Lat Ba'imer. And it says, Umar bin Ba'im, Tzas, Simcha. doesn't elaborate what this means. The Berhete brings down that there was a Godel Echad 
that was ruggled to say Nachem every single day. And the Shem Ben Yechai came to me and said, On my birthday, on my Yemi Dilula, you say Nachem also? And a child of his died, the Nenash, shortly after. But that's all it's brought down. But the Hasidim and the Mekubalim made a very big to do out of Lag Boima. Now the question is, what did they make out of Lag Boima? In Eretz Yisrael, it became a bit of a holiday. And tens and tens of thousands of people come to camp out. Not necessarily from people. They camp out on the mountainside around Reb Shimon Ben Yechai's cave with tents. Some just on cheers, some chef blends, some make barbecues. It's massive a feel. And it goes like a whole weekend. But half the other from dollars, it's like July 4th here, but they make a massive thing. I just want Saisha to go, even though my Rebbe told me I should not go, but told me that the princess is above and beyond the Maila Mirosh. You can't go there. So I think if everybody else is going there, even from people, how can I to the beat? So I, I controlled myself not to go, but then it was like one o'clock, I was walking home from Yeshiva, and I had just written over Sheer, had my notebook under my hand. And I was walking back to the Dira, and all of a sudden the cab pulled up and said, Meron, Meron, there's one place left. It was a seven-seater van. The seven-seater, not a van, it was a stretch. Uh, it was a three-seater uh, Rolls. Limo, the town was Limo. They used to, they used to, no, they, they, to throw, they used to have a common fish roots, where the th uh, three-seater um, Rolls Royces. It was, it was a full back seat, full middle seat, and a front seat. The front seat, one guy sat with the driver, the second seat sat three, the second sat three. And there was one place to stuck in, in the middle. <laughs> you wanna go, buddy? <laughs> you wanna go? I said, when are we gonna be back? I said, we'll be back for that week. Be back in Fila? Yes. So, my HR got the better of me, and I got in, and I got stuck next to a father with a little three-year-old kid who was going up there for a haircut, and I went there, and it almost became my young with the Hilula also. In those days, it was before the cave was made over, and it was a tiny, a relatively tiny room. And I didn't come that far to stand outside. Baruch Hashem, at four in the morning, most of the fruits him were sleeping. I couldn't see the princess. It was just pretty dark. It was climbing up the other park very far away. And I remember that when he got out of the car, the car the guy said, remember where we are. We got to be back here next amount of time. It was going back to Yerushalayim. I remember we could hear from the mountainside, Lubavitcher Rebbe, Lubavitcher set up. Uh, these huge speakers, <laughs> and he's blasting, and it, it's a lot of mountains, and echoes, and it was like boom, boom, and, like, and, and constant, you know, over there. And we made it into the thing, and I started getting into that room with the last thing I do. And all of a sudden, I started to feel I was blacking out. I could not breathe. I never felt so crushed. It felt like I had some kind of beer hug around me. I punched it. I started to scream, but I don't know, listen to me, you understand? I just got, got over there, I got out my life, Baruch Hashem, 
I thank you, Shem Ben Yechai. And um, I came back and I told my Rebbe that I didn't, I couldn't control myself and I went and I saw it. You know, well, I, I, I saw it, I understood what you wanted me not to see. At that time, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning, like 2.30 in the morning, it wasn't so bad. And um, that was exciting to see. What the Emma said is that in the latter years, the Arizal went up to the cave where it says for three days. This Talmud didn't say he went up to his family with his family for three days. It says this Talmud of Chaim the Tal went up to the cave where it says that the Hasidim always made a very big fuss about it. And they do a minute, they make major hat locus, and they make a, they give haircuts on that day by the caver, and in the hat locus, they throw clothes, and they burn some very expensive articles of clothing. And of course, they will tell you that everything has deep meaning. Um, and so on and so forth. The Chassam Seifer in his Chuvitz says, I heard about that now it's Achshir Dara, and I hear people come and meet Lag Baimer on the day of Yardzai, the Roshim and Yechai, a new Yardzai, a new Yantiv, and of course, Kavanosim L'Shem Shemayim, and Scharam Rav Ali Safik. But I myself are not joining the crowds. But I don't want to be there and I don't want to be Mishana from the meeting. And I don't want to be join them because I never heard about making a I'm concerned about being Kriveya, a holiday that no nace happened. Not mentioned in Shas, not mentioned in Paiskim, in any place, or even the Remiza alluded to anywhere. So, I'm not sure where the minute comes from, but after he gives the whole reason about maybe I'll pick Kabbalah, he says, but to make it, and make simcha in that day, and the hadloka. No. So I'm not sure if it's yes or not yes. And the Shail Lameshi, from Shail Matanzon, writes very strongly about this. He says, generally you fast about when Sadiqim die, it's a sad day, and they, they burn the Godin. Why is it about I'll touch this? And questions the whole thing about it. <coughs> but what 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 can I do? He says, no one's gonna listen to what we say. And especially if they think that it's an amazing mitzvah. And the emphasis is that the Archaim and many other play people had customs to definitely do something on this day. So, there is an Indian, but the Chassam Seifer says that even those great Sadiqim who went there, they didn't go there to park. They went there to David and to learn the Torah of Rabshim ben Yechai. Now, this specific day, now it's interesting, in Shulchan Aruch it does say, in Simon Tov Chav Ches, that Purim always falls out on the same day as Lag Boy. So from there the Hasidim made a whole, you know, Be'er Be'er, El Priya Chadosh over here, Purim Lag Boimer, 
and the men of Russia Tavis, but all kinds of Zachen. But it's definitely a day. Reb Shimon ben Yechoi was definitely an outstanding personality from the Tehillim and Tanoim who was Megala, the Torah and Nigala, and the Torah and Nister. And on the day of his Petira, it's brought down <coughs> in the Idrizuta in Azinu that. He was being the gala, the soydas, and the day had not yet set, and he had to leave the world on that day. So he put a stop to the sun from setting. And the Zohar says over there that this day is not a day that is distant from us. It will never become distant from us. And Rabbi Shimei Yechai says over there, this whole day is mine. And this day is opened up Sha'orim in Shemayim to bring down Shefarav Ad Belida. <coughs> and cute Rashi Tavis is Yushba, Shefa, Rav. The Chol is Rashi Tevis Rashi. Now, Rabbi Shimon ben Yechoi is famous for his memory that he said in the Chantamara that Yochel Ani lifter as Kol Ha'Olam Kuloi Min Hadid. He was he found the defense. The Puppy Potter and Hadid and Rabbi Kivager in Sukkot of Memheim and Beis points out to the Maimur of Rabbi Shimon ben Yechoi in Ovis de Rabbi Nossin. Rabbi Shimon ben Yechoi says that Ain Yisrael Royim Pnei Gehenna. Cloud Yisrael won't see again. And he brings a marshal over there. It was a, mesh, a, a, a marshal to a king that had a soda of Ziburis, low quality field. People came and they rented it for a certain amount of heat in a year. They worked it over, they uh, cleared, cleared it, they fertilized it, they weeded it. They watered it, and they put not more than one core chitin in the year. So the Melov said, what's the pshat? What is this? <coughs> so they said to the Melov, Adinei Melov, you know that the field that you gave us originally never produced anything. And now, that we invested so much effort into clearing this land, um, we don't want to throw too much seed in this ground, and we're only going to put one core of heat. So he said, Ben Yisrael, the others are asking for his kach, a seed in Yisrael, leimel lefnei hakadosh baruch. Rabbi Yisraelim, you know the answer, hara that is cooking within us, that instigate us, like it says, ki hu yadai So there's no time on Klal Yisrael why they didn't produce more. <coughs> Just like <coughs> Melech can't have a time we made a deal with you, you're going to give me 10 kurim a year, how are you going to get 10 kurim out of one kurim? So here also, this is how Reb Shimon patterned kala ilam kulay so on this unique day, Rabbi Shimon ben Yechai is patterns Kol Ha'olam Kulay from Din. You have to know that on the 
day that Rabbi Shimon and Yechoi was brought into the caver to bury him. So, the Kailas struck him, and they said, This person who shook the world, shook up kingdoms, and all the worlds are Mizdazit, tremble from him, Shimon Yechoi. On him, the Possek says, says in the Zoyar, Arye Shog Milo Yira. That when he sees the Matsiv, and in the Zoyar it's brought down a story about how powerful Reb Shimon and Yechai was. That one time Reb Shimon and Yechai went out and he saw in his holy eyes a dark, a tremendous darkness coming upon this world. So Reb Shimon Yechai turned to his son Reb Lazar and he said, come with me, that's not a good sign. Let's see what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to do now to his world. So Holfu they went and they found this Malach that was as large as a mountain. And from the Malach's mouth was coming out 30 flames of fire. Sir Shimon ben Yechai asked him, what's your plan? What are you going to do? The Malach said, Zeyra Yesh, there's a Zeyra before HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that any time in the world, the world has to have a minimum of 30 tzaddikim to exist. And there's no 30 tzaddikim. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu sent me to destroy the world. Very serious dark day for the world. So Rabbi Shimon Yechai said, excuse me, go back to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and tell him that Bar Yechai is down here covering the turf. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got your back, you know, I got the world. So, the Malach went back to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and he said to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Mari da Alma, I know you know what he told me, you don't got to hear from me. The, you know what he said. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu told him, I don't care. Go and destroy the world and don't pay any attention to Bar Yechai. So the Malach went back to take his position and Rabbi Shimon Yechai sees his back. So Rabbi Shimon Yechai said to him, if you don't remove yourself immediately, from this place, I'm going to be geyser on you. You're never going to be ever again able to go the Mekayimcha Bishmei Shemai. You're never going back to the heavens. I'm going to send you to the place, a Mokam Nidach, a very, uh, more than a foreign place, a Mokam, not the word. Outcast with a, a place for out, like outcast place in the world, and where also the Uziel to Malachim that Hakadosh Baruch Hu kicked out of Shemayim, and he sent them there, and you're going to join them. You're going to have a mizumin. So you make a choice, and they're tied. It says Bishal Shali Bishal Shali Shabarza. So you want to join them? That's your choice. Go back to the Baita Shalai and tell him like this. Even if in the world there's no 30 tzaddikim, it's enough to schus of 20 tzaddikim. And even if there's no 20 tzaddikim, it's enough to schus of 10 tzaddikim. And even if there's no 10 tzaddikim, the people are not going to die to schus 2 tzaddikim. Me and my son. I'll be shnayim edim, Yakim Dover. The Ain Dover, Ella Ayla, the Ksib, the Dvar Hashem, Shemayim Nas. And then he said, even if there's no two Tzaddikim, just me, just one, and I'm the one. Shtek the Tzaddik, Yesoy Dayim. The Oysa Shah, Yotsa Sabaskal, and Hashemayim. The 
ואז קורא נאפ לי שמיים ומצל אשרי חלקך פורצ'ינט איז יולאט רבי שמן דקוד שבריחו גוזר לאילה השם גוזר מקס גזירס from high, ואת מבטל לסת, and you below are מבטל להם. בוודאי, הלוך איתמר, certainly about you, it is the one who is referring to the Pesach that says, you're in soin yirei of yas. In soin yirei of yas. So, I have to realize that when this such a thing happens, <coughs> this is the koyach of Rabbi Shimon Be Yechoi to turn the world over and to make things happen. Now, the question is, what do we have from this? So, do you have to be at the cave? No, it's brought down in this forum very clearly. It's the day that even if a person is not at the caver, is not safe to be there, he can be poil for what the place is, the schus, the Rav Shimon Bar Yechoi. And like it says, this day, the whole world, this day is in my Rishus. A person can be safe to a lot of things. The Tzadik brings down that in this day, HaKadosh Baruch Hu revealed to the world through Rav Shem Ben Yechoi tremendous secrets of the Torah. And everybody could be Zoycha L'or Torah Shabal Peh on this day. So on this day, when you daven, you say, Rav Yishalem, just like Mishchus Rav Shem Ben Yechoi, you revealed greatness of the Torah, tremendous secrets on this day, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, give me a schus that I sh on this day I should be zoicha to an aliyah to Torah. As Fas Emes brings down the name of the Chidush Yerim, that he says, that this day is a special day, Mesugal to be kind of Yerushalayim. Who doesn't want your Yerushalayim? But the Tanisha Rib said, on this day, you can be safe in Yerushalayim. Reb Tzodik says that in the Zoya, the Parshish Chayi Sorin says that even the biggest Chayte in the world, if he's going to do Tshuva, he says like this. Ari b'shaita, chada, b'riga, a guy can be soicha b'chol ha-madreis. And he brings down, something brings down, that he heard, he has a Kabbalah, that Dover said this happens, mi'egiyas Rabbi Shimon ben Yechoi. Because of the toil of Rabbi Shimon ben Yechoi in the world, Rabbi Shimon ben Yechoi was toil with his amelos b'tayra, that what you would call it, to be soicha to tremendous, so this is a day that you don't necessarily have to be at the caver, even if you're not. Now, in the previous year, you mentioned it's a day specially to learn Mamore of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechoi that are spread out in the Shatz or in the Zoya. Because this is like you're relating and you're being Mechabit Rabbi Shimon Ben Yechoi. Now there's a story brought down in the Chazal that now there's one more source in the Maharil, which is interesting. The Maharil brings down the Shiloh that somebody came to him and asked him if a guy made a nether, and his nether was he's not going to eat any food outside of his house. Except for a Suda Smith. So he wanted to know what exactly qualifies a Suda for a Suda Smith. So Maril says, 
anybody who's nene from a suda of a Talmud Chacham, ki ilu nene mi Therefore, fear is always the marat maril, that lag ba'oymer nami suda smitzvah. You know why he said? It's the Suda of the Rashi. It's the Suda of Rabbi Shem ben Yechon. And he says, even if somebody is not Zoychet to be Eilah Le'eretz HaKoynish, still in all, he should be Marbe B'Simcha L'Kvayda Yoyim, like the Chido, another giant, right? Yarbe B'Simcha L'Kvayda Rabbi Shimon ben Yechai, Ki Uyayim Hilulu Shalai, the Noyne, it is known that his Ratzin was who should be Misameyach Boy, and some make a special Limud the night of Lag Boimer with ten people to learn the Shvachim of the Rajbi that are spread out through Shas and through the Zoyim. And that was the idea of making fires with Chilas Hayoy, which is the night they make the fires, is also to um, encourage the Simcha of this day. So a person has to know that starting from tonight, a person should be Think about Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechai. And a person should think about, and Shulchan Aruch it says that the Talmud and Rabbi Akiva were Mason. And we're now holding in the days of the Sphira, in the days of the Sphira of the Yemeya Tahara, for a person to be Zeichet, the Tahara of the Kabbalists, a Torah. We're closer to Kabbalists at <coughs> now than we are distant from it. And we need. Person tomorrow should dive into Rabbi Shalaylo when he says the Avarabba, the same with the Vedu. The Shbarofu, open my eyes, open my heart, open my mind to understand Torah, perceive your Torah, just like you Mazakar of Shimon Yechai on this day. And a person should be marveled, Tzas Simcha that day, we're all saying Tachman. Tachman is not because of that, they tap was what will make Lay But it's definitely a day where if you could glean some schusen and jump onto the coattails of the Shimon and Yechai, the idea is that tomorrow a person should focus heavily on his Tafkin in this world. You have to remember that Rabbi Shimon and Yechai's big thing was that everybody should learn Torah. He was, at, at one point in his life, he couldn't eat the fact that people went to work. He came out of the cave in such a high and intense uh, mahalaf that he saw some people working and he looked at them and he nuked them. <coughs> and whoever he saw working, he just couldn't handle it. And they became a gal shalat summers. So Hashem told them, go back into the grave, you can't, you, you can't that's not the world. The world, the reality of the world is not like that. And then he was ready to come out, and then he took a different, he saw it differently. But it doesn't mean to say that a person should be focused on the tafkid of his chayim. And everybody should dive into the body shalom. The person on this day could ask and should ask. She ask any day to have a baruch. This day, a person should ask a kumakadish baruch to be zayicha. It's just this great tzaddik, and it was an auspicious time, just like Hashem was telling him stop dying on this day. If it was an auspicious day, so too it's an auspicious day because. The yard site of Rav Shimon Bar Yechon.